Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. We are trying to get to 4,000 watch hours and 2,000 subscriptions. Alright everyone, I'm your highly illustrious electorally voted in President Ross. Let's get this map started with the latest polls. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is deep blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, which is a battleground state with six electoral votes, is a very light pink two clicks for Donald J. Trump. It flip-flops every so often. Arizona with 11 electoral votes is a light pink two clicks for Donald J. Trump. He's gained ground losing it daily, it seems. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is a light, light blue, so two clicks for Kamala Harris. And New Mexico with five electoral votes is a light, light, light blue, which is Three clicks, I believe, right there, yep, for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with four electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state itself, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district is red for Donald J. Trump. And the tiniest district is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas is a light pink two clicks, 40 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. It has shifted between deep red and light red. It's gone back and forth. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is gray. It will not be colored in. This is a shocker. Once again, it is gray. It's been gray like four other times. Since we started doing electoral map videos, it will not be colored in. Iowa with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes after the vice presidential debate is actually a light pink. Two clicks. Going back to Republicans, Wisconsin might be. Michigan with 15 electoral votes, three clicks, is a light, light, light red, pink, whatever you want to call it, a shade of red. It's very light right there. It is shifting more towards Republicans, but some polls, including Real Clear Polling, have it shifting still at Harris, but we're going through the average of every poll source that we're using. New York Post, including Real Clear Polling, 270 to win, Rosamond, Etc. Nick Silverman, all of them. We're doing the average. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is a light blue. Once again, it's only been light blue two other videos out of our like 20 or so. Uh, 19 electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. Uh, Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio is a light pink. 17 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes, sweet home, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is a light pink like Texas. Wild for Donald J. Trump. It has been heavy red, but it's shifted a few times to light pink. It's kind of concerning. I hope it doesn't become a battleground state. It could turn things in Kamala Harris and the Democrats' favor. And if it does, that's awesome as well. Georgia with 16 electoral votes is a light, light pink. One more for Donald J. Trump. It was a heavy red a few days ago, and he's losing his grip somehow. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina is a light, light pink like Georgia. 16 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. This is concerning. He's flipping it back and forth. Oh, what's going to happen? Is Kamala going to take over?
Who knows? Let's find out in the coming weeks. Virginia with 13 electoral votes has gone from deep blue, light blue to light blue to gray. It will not be colored in. It or its 13 electoral votes will not be colored in. Pennsylvania is a light, light pink like North Carolina and Georgia. 19 electoral votes. It's not looking good for the Donald. Is he going to be able to pull it off? Is he capable of pulling Pennsylvania, which he needs in order to win? If Donald Trump does not win Pennsylvania, he does not win the election unless he flips two big battleground states, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Georgia, to his side, or Arizona instead of Georgia. It just depends. But if he doesn't get those states, he will not win if he does not get Pennsylvania. Now, we're going to Maine. The state itself is heavy red today, quite shockingly. And everything else on the map is a light blue. That includes New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the District of D.C. and others. It is very, very concerning today to see this flip. Oh, is the love fest over? Who knows? But that leaves Donald Trump at 310 electoral votes and Kamala Harris's grip on the 220s, 226s, 280s and at one point 312 electoral votes has slipped to only 201. Therefore Trump is most likely going to win. However, if we have clicked Pennsylvania to blue, that would give Kamala Harris her 220 she's known for, Minnesota to blue, Kamala Harris is at 230, Wisconsin to blue. That would give Kamala Harris 240, Michigan to blue. That would give her 255. And then if we give her Georgia, which at one point in time she was winning, GA, that would give her 271 and Donald Trump 250. So, depending on these contested battleground and swing states, will determine the election on who wins. Baby, who do you want? Trump. And why? To make America great. Praise the Lord. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Ah!